This video provides guidance on inspecting the output of automatic segmentation and manually editing it if required. The segmentation service used within TRIOS patient monitoring separates teeth from gingiva and identifies each tooth based on the selected tooth numbering system. This is the basis of how TRIOS patient monitoring aligns and compares scans. Therefore, it is very important that you carefully inspect the output of segmentation and make corrections if necessary. Automatic segmentation is currently optimized for scans with unaltered adult teeth. Scans containing primary teeth, brackets or similar may not segment correctly. Please be aware that automatic segmentation requires your system to be connected to the Internet. This is because it's an online service that processes uploaded scan data and downloads the results onto your scans. Please note that the segmentation speed largely depends on your upload speed and the number of scans being segmented for each patient. Being signed in to communicate and an internet connection are the two requirements for the user to be able to send scan data to the server where segmentation takes place. To inspect segmentation, check that each tooth surface are shaded in blue. You'll notice alternative shades of blue to help you distinguish each tooth. Inspect that the blue shading covers all the teeth in the scan and does not extend to the gingiva. To inspect the tooth identification numbers, examine if these are in the correct and expected sequence considering the dentition shown in the scan. Any detected abnormalities will be shown by the TRIOS patient monitoring software by highlighting the adjacent teeth's ID in a different color. For example, scans with missing teeth will be detected as abnormal by the software, but in such cases, a missing tooth ID is to be expected. However, non-segmented teeth, which appear unshaded, will be detected as an abnormality that does require manual correction. When manual editing is needed, select from the three modes on the left side panel. Select the brush to paint a tooth surface in blue. This defines which surface in the scan consists of teeth. Select the eraser to remove any scan surfaces mistakenly marked as a tooth. And select Edit ID to define or change a tooth identification. When the brush is selected, simply start by painting the desired area as precisely as you can. As soon as a continuous brushing stroke is stopped, a radial menu with tooth IDs corresponding to the jaw and specified tooth numbering system appears. Select the desired tooth ID. You may now continue painting. Note that you can change the brush size using the slider and that you can zoom and rotate the scan as needed. If automatic segmentation marks some gingiva as a tooth, or you accidentally paint it onto the gingiva, you can easily correct this by selecting the eraser. Note, you can also change the eraser size using the slider. To change tooth ID, simply select the tooth ID mode and click or tap on the tooth you want to edit. Select the desired tooth ID from the radial menu or select the trash bin icon to remove the entire segment. Now that segmentation has been inspected and edited, we can go ahead and accept the segmentation for each scan. Once done, a green check mark will appear next to the scan list. Scans with an accepted segmentation will be saved for the next time you enter patient monitoring with a new scan. However, you can always go back and edit the segmentation of any scan. Now you know how to inspect and edit segmentation in TRIOS patient monitoring. Thank you for watching. Music